comprehensive news and sports. A roundup of the day's happenings, national, regional, international, all relevant, all important to you. The most comprehensive news in Trinidad and Tobago. We present the facts and you form your opinions. You'll never miss anything again. Aspire TV, online TV, you'll never miss a thing again. Good morning, I'm Leanne Sinclair with your news on Aspire TV Trinidad and Tobago. The Ministry of Works and Transport is advising citizens on regulations related to the inspection of motor vehicles as stipulated by the Motor Vehicle and Road Traffic Act. Private vehicles with a manufactured date of five years or older are required to have their vehicles inspected at the authorized vehicle testing station every two years. Owners of these private vehicles are required to pay a fee of $300. Owners of commercial vehicles are required to have their vehicles inspected annually at the transport division at the cost of $300. Owners of private and commercial vehicles are required to present and submit their certified copies of the Certificate of Registration and a valid Certificate of Insurance to the authorized vehicle testing station to begin the inspection process. In the instance where a valid inspection sticker is not affixed to the front of the windshield of the vehicle or the front of a motorcycle, but the vehicle or motorcycle has successfully passed the inspection process, the driver of the motor vehicle or motorcycle in question should not be prosecuted by a law enforcement officer if at the material time the driver is in possession of the valid certificate of inspection with a receipt of payment attached. And there are over 11,000 people in Trinidad living with HIV. And in an effort to reach the USAID global target of ensuring that 90% of the population know their HIV status, the Minister of Health is encouraging people to get tested. As an HIV testing drive in Port of Spain, Minister Terence de Alsing says there, there needs to be a count of people living with HIV in this country as they seek to provide therapy as well as suppress the virus. He says that anyone living with the virus can get tested without discrimination. And the TTPS is urging drivers to exercise caution when driving. On Wednesday morning, Assistant Superintendent of Police, Kisun Badlu, gave a status update on what is happening on the nation's roads. He said that there is a 4% decrease in road deaths. However, as driving while under the influence is a major contributor to road fatalities, he said that having a designated driver is helpful in all instances where drinking is involved. And former Prime Minister Basil Pandey is subscribing to the mantra that happiness is the measure of success. He says politicians must remember that beyond the academics involved in running a country, their ultimate job is to make the lives of the people who elected them into office better. Mr. Pandey was speaking during the macroeconomics conversation hosted by the University of the West Indies on Wednesday. I'm Leanne Sinclair and that's a look at news on Aspire TV Trinidad and Tobago. Is he Aspire TV, online TV, you'll never miss a thing again.